Yo, 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 yo. Welcome, 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 guys. Welcome to Dope Talk TV. This is John in the motherfucking house. <laughs> we got Stephen Daniel, a.k.a. Dr. Airbnb. He's the one fucking. And only. Yeah, the <laughs> one and only. The one and only, guys. The one and only. Yes, sir. What's up? It's Stephen Daniel, known by Dr. Airbnb. I'm glad to be here. Shout out to John and Dope Talk TV podcast. Welcome. Yeah, man. So where are you coming in from? You coming in from where? Just came in from Dallas at the crib. I'm off for a week. Came from uh, Canada as well. So, Oh, man. This is crazy, <laughs> man. Man, shout out to him again, man. That's crazy, brother. Like, this guy flew in. I mean, this guy does a lot of different stuff, man. He's a flight attendant. He's an Airbnb coach. I mean, tell me, how did you get started into the... To the whole flight attendant thing? Well, actually, flight attendant was one of my dreams, just one of them. Um, while I was doing banking, I fell in love with the dream of being a flight attendant. So I started researching. And uh, first, I um, got turned down, you know, then I gave it some time. And then secondly, it came around again and I knew it was the right time. And so even again, I got delayed though by the COVID. So mm -hmm. I sent home for a whole year, had to wait after I got hired, quit my job and everything from baking. So then I had to be on hold, go back to a, a job that I was unhappy with. So it was worthwhile, like you was talking about earlier. And so I knew it was my passion, my calling. And even before that, um, somebody prophesied to me and so, you know, said when I was younger, that would see that I would be flying and my, taking my family and traveling with my mom, doing business, all that. So I know it's a divine calling for me and I love it. Okay. That's awesome, man. Yeah. I mean, I've been traveling all over the world, man. Like just to think about it, just to be on an airplane for that long, like, man, I'm sorry, brother. Like that's, yeah. that's tough, man. That's tough. And if you're a drinker too, and you hop on that plane hungover, I bet. Right. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking, man. Right. So the time wise, my um, um, industry and my airline, I don't do long flights. We don't have too many long flights. I just did one like three hours, three and 50 minutes. Oh, okay. So um, oh. that's a stretch for me. But those like nine hours and stuff, I can't do. So I'm mm. good on that. That's crazy, man. <laughs> that's crazy. And uh, how old are you? I am 27. Just turned 27. Okay. So we're the same age, so man. Put some respect on my okay, name. Put some I'm respect. Still young. <laughs> that's crazy, man. And I heard, I heard Dallas is, is a wonderful city. Oh, uh, yeah. It's nice. I've been there before. I lived there part time. So it's nice. Okay. Yep. And, and how many states have you been to? You've been like all over? Yes. I think I, I wanted to start when I first started, I wanted to be able to count, but I really can't count which ones. I think yeah. I've been to every state I would say. Wow. I think. That's that's an accomplishment, man. I think. I, that, that's crazy, man, because not a lot of people even leave their own state. And that's why also I do like YouTube, social media, being able to share it, because believe it or not, my sister, she just was able to fly for the first time, yeah. you know? And so it was like, I know it's people that still are back home where I'm from and they don't get to see nothing else but what they know. And so I would love sharing that with people, everybody. That's crazy. That's you crazy. Know? And um, being a content creator, I see you posting a lot of stuff like on yep. Instagram and you're talking about generational wealth, like yes. your book right here. Go ahead and show them, show them what yep. you got real quick, man. So the planner creating generational wealth, how to master the Airbnb game it is available now. And it's going to teach you the exact steps that you need to start, scale and grow your Airbnb business, whether you want to get into it. A lot of people are afraid. They I um, um, jumped into it by accident when I became a flight attendant. I was stuck with my apartment and I was wondering, like, how can why would I be paying rent? And it's just sitting here. I'm not going to get my home up. But so Airbnb came up. So there's the blessing. I wrote a planner giving you the exact steps, everything that you need, simple steps, okay. baby steps for real. Cause that's how I learned yeah, baby me too. steps. Me too. Yep. <laughs> yeah, man. Cause I'm not, I'm not, I'm a fast learner, but like I'm also, I'm also the type of guy where it's like, I, it has to be visual. Yeah. You know what yep. I'm saying? Like I'm a visual type of person where I don't know, man. Like I, I just did my real estate thing and that it took me like five times, man. So like I really had to like study this. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations to you. Hey, so man. what's your title now? Like what's do not doctor yet. Yeah. Not like me, but no. Yeah, yeah. I mean eventually <laughs> Yeah, eventually I wanna get like, you know, like I wanna get my broker's license. Okay. I wanna do stuff like that. Okay. Um I'm still trying to figure it out, man. I'm yeah. still trying to figure life out, man. I got my license, it still feels unreal. Yeah. Um, I'm still trying to figure out which route to take. Okay, I'm trying okay. to balance the podcast life. I'm still yeah. I'm trying to balance, you know, having a girlfriend. I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> life. It's life, man. No, no, you know, no. it, it's harder, man. It, it's easier said than done. Yeah. For sure. So we're gonna call you Ron. Um, I mean why I say Ron, John the Realtor for right now. John the Realtor. And I see you doing podcasts. 
podcast going into the real estate as well industry and like you were saying business people is coming so yeah. keep going trying man i'm trying man yes, sir. and uh so when's your when's your next trip when's your next vacation actually vacation or yeah. work i mean <laughs> we could talk about both okay so i work yeah. like my schedule is different every day so nick i know my schedule a month in advance but um i'll go back to work next week <laughs> you know so i love it's not work it's um a passion so i don't feel like it's work at all but um next vacation um i just came from canada oh my i love i canada. heard canada is amazing i love it i it's heard I, the people that i meet from canada because i deal with a lot of canadians coming yep. down and they're extremely nice people. Yes. Super nice. First time I went was last year when I became a flight attendant, got to go to the Canada, but I stayed in the hotel. It was just like that night real quick. And so um, um, everybody was so nice. And I'm like, that's unusual for me. I'm nice and people say it all the time, but I'm like other people sometimes aren't nice, you know? And so that was, I love Canada. I okay. want to, I'm moving there. Not I want to, I'm moving there very okay. soon. I heard it's hard to get in there. Like if you got like a felony or you a, you a thug, <laughs> like, yo, they ain't going to let your ass <laughs> in, man. Well, <laughs> despite the look of how I look, I, I have a very good crew. <laughs> you seem like a very, a, a very, uh, you seem like a gentleman. There you go. Right, right. Yeah. Everybody looks at me, but I'm a um, very educated black young man. Yeah. <laughs> Went to Morehouse. I'm grateful for that. So, um, it's, yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. And no children? No children? No kids. Okay. Yeah. I don't have any kids. <laughs> I don't have any kids yet. I'm just chilling. You know, I'm just going with the flow. Yeah. Um, But I know that you have your book out. Mm -hmm. Um, What are some things, what are some, some things that you would like to let the, the audience know about, Um, you know, what advice would you give them? Okay. For Airbnb or business? Airbnb. Yeah, like like for an Airbnb. Yeah. Okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. So advice-wise, I'm so grateful again to be here on the podcast, but I want to educate um, everybody about not only um, Airbnb, but real estate and business, um, creating generational wealth. That's having your own business, first step, get an LLC. It's so simple. I don't care if it's for your kids. I don't care if it's for yourself, for your dog. Get an LLC because it's the start of creating generational wealth, and that's what the planner is about um and it's about ownership having your own business so it's so simple to get just spend a hundred couple of hundred dollars and get your llc okay. let it grow if you don't know what you want to do yet if you're unsure just let it grow and still work on it it's baby steps and just starting is the first step um, as far as the airbnb business I want to educate and empower everybody that's trying to get into the Airbnb, that's interested in getting Airbnb, that see it on social media so much, follow me, um, whatever the case may be, that, like I said, it's first going to be just start. But secondly, you also have to, um, um, how do I say, you have to invest in yourself. So it's going to be whether education, it's going to be a book, it's going to be a video, it's going to be YouTube, whatever your platform and however you want to learn and gain information about what you're going to be passionate about, what you're going to be serious about, you have to invest in yourself. I know I'm talking, that was no, a no, lot. No, 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 that's great. That's great. Okay. You're doing great. Okay. Um, and now how, me personally, I have an LLC, mm -hmm. but a lot of people that are watching don't. Mm-hmm. What are the steps to getting an LLC? It's very simple. So I have a seven day LLC challenge where you can go to DrAirbnbUniversity.com and purchase it and you get your LLC in one day. Okay. You know, so first it's a lot into it. It's a, let me say it's a lot of thinking and strategy into it. So what is your business? A LLC may not be for you. So I'm not going to tell everybody to get an LLC because you may need another different entity, right, for your business. So I want you to educate yourself on that. What type of business entity do I need for my business? Because it's about what industry am I going to? What are, what are you doing? Is it going to be a um, partnership with somebody else? So it's a lot of more information into that. Um, so I'm not going to say is snap easy but llc is pretty much go onto the website get uh, pay the fees okay get your company you know and yep. it's yours once you um um the um you've confirmed they verify the name is available all that stuff it's a lot of, it's a few steps into it but it's, it's yeah. easy. yeah yeah it's not it's just a lot of steps but it's easy yep. and anyone can do it yep you know what i mean i, I try i can't stress this enough man how important generational wealth is yeah and you know meeting someone like you man you know it, it's awesome because you're really out there. You're pushing content yeah. and you're trying to help these people out. Yeah. And um, what makes you what makes you what gives you that drive to do that? That's that's the real thing. That's my question. What yeah. gives you that drive, that fire? 
my fire every single day is my story of yeah. really where I came from was um, all my life I was bullied every single day. And that was unfortunate, but it changed who I am. It created who I am today. So where I am so willing to help, number one, I don't care if it's going to be, let me help you with your bags, old lady. Let me, let me, you almost fail. I help Honey. every single, I try to help every single person, you know, in a, or any serious scenario or situation I'm in. If I can help you, I'm going to help you. Yeah. And so um, the knowledge wise, like my grandma, my grandma will always say, you're a very um, knowledgeable young man. You know um, what they say? Um, what's the old saying? You know. You're wise for your age and all yeah, those different yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. But um, so I always was given wisdom and passion about education, but my gift is teaching as well. So mm. teaching wise, now I try to make it fun on social media and give it to you. Yeah. And how long have you been doing that? Social media, let me say, is about two years because before, like I say, I'm a publicist, so yeah. I've always done it for my clients. But doing mm. it for myself and creating my own brand, I just started. So I know how to create a brand. That's why I do branding and PR. Um, but I've never done it for myself. So I've been doing it about a year or two consistently for myself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. And like, do you have any other friends that, do you have any mentors that taught you this? Yes, absolutely. So my mom is my number one mentor because nice. she's a CPA, accountant, a tax expert, a tax um, knowledge, whatever. I mean, she's a numbers. She's a number person. You. Yeah. So she knows so much. Got 20 probably degrees, literally, I promise you. Oh. That. <laughs> and so she's my daily mentor to be able to teach me and pour into me. For free, yeah, you know, and I give my services to her for free, you know. No, no, for real, yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what family do. So I have her, then my spiritual mentor, Pastor Cynthia Diggs in Dallas, Texas. She's been there for a while and been able to pour into me, um, give me knowledge, give me wisdom, guide me, pray for me, everything I need. And so, and then I have Airbnb coaches and I've learned from, shout out to Devin. Um, she does business credit. Um, her name is on social media, um, um, Devin. Um, this is great. You'll find her. But uh, shout out to shout out to <laughs> everybody. <laughs> yeah, so. shout out to everybody. Yep. So I've learned a lot, and I'm not saying that I've, I know everything, and I um, yeah. got it from nowhere. You know, so you had to learn. So I've invested in myself. Awesome, awesome. I mean, that's that's super important that you say that too. That's like, hey, like I don't know everything, but I have a mentor, right? Yep. Um, how important is having a mentor to you, though? It's very important. I learned that um, when I didn't have a mentor, I saw where my life was unguided, meaning I didn't know where was where was I going to go, what was the next step. But when you have a mentor, it gives you that guidance that you need. Here's the next step. Stay focused, Stephen. Don't get off. You know, it's just that rooter, that person in your corner. And it's also important to have a um, mentor in every area of your life. So I have a spiritual mentor, a, a business mentor. You know, um, my mom is still a mentor on the mom personal relationship mentor, you know, whatever. So, yeah, every area of your life, you need a mentor. Yeah, because they actually have to have some experience in doing it. Yeah. Not just talking about it. Yep. You know, those people that always say, hey, you know, I can help you here. They always got to they always have an advice to give you, but yeah. they've never done it yep. it's like how am i supposed to take your advice if you never done it exactly yep. you know and that's so true that's yes. so true you're supposed to i didn't think about that having yeah. a different mentor in different areas yep. in life yep especially that you want to grow in yeah you want to be something and you know so you're gonna have to okay and that's 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 awesome <laughs> round of applause that's <laughs> for real and you know that saying man in real estate using other people's money yeah yep now, do you do you use that in, in this book, or do yep. you use that in your in your daily daily life? Yes, definitely. So, especially with the Airbnb and in business in general, I learned about OPM, other people money, right? Yeah. And it's AKA business credit. That's what it is. And so, you're being able to. Um, so many people don't know is that just like you have personal credit, you have business credit. So when you start your business, you got all your um, information, you got everything registered, your Duns and Bradstreet number, your EIN number, everything that you need. Then you can start immediately start building business credit. Mm. And so then what you're going to do is leverage from that business credit to invest into your business or businesses and uh, flip that money. And so that's what I teach to utilize your business credit to get your um, Airbnb started with less of your own money okay. as possible. And I and I see, and I'm not 100% sure, but is this true? Do you need to own the actual Airbnb to profit off it? No, you don't have to own it. I do the um, rental arbitrage where you pretty much, you're um, renting it under your business. So instead of me going to, to a um, lease 
apartment, getting the lease and doing it under my social. I'm doing it under my business now because it's its own entity. So I want to separate everything. That's why you have that limited liability company, LLC, yeah. because it's going to keep everything separate from you being personal liable. So now my business go get the apartment. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> no, and I've heard I've heard of that, but mm-hmm. like I didn't really know the steps. So guys, yep. make sure I'm gonna put the link in the bio. I'm gonna put it in the description, his Instagram page, the whole nine. Yeah. Like this guy knows what he's talking about. Appreciate I don't bring people you. on the show that yeah. don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> no, saying? Man. And I'm not gonna speak about it because I don't know. Yeah, that's that's my number one rule. If I don't know about it, I'm not gonna sit here and try to talk about it. Exactly. I don't know about it. Like me saying if I uh a woman say, how is the pregnancy going to be or the birth going to be? Yeah. You know, I can't tell you nothing about that. So I'm going to talk about what I know because otherwise I'm going to look a fool. You're going to look like a fool. <laughs> there you go. Uh, my other question is how important is, you know, in business, in the business world, how important is, you know, relationships? How important is that to you? It is very important, again, going back to your business mentors or your mentors in general. But relationships is, I'm going to put it like this. My grandma always used to say, your name is everything. Even the Bible says your name is everything. So you want to have a re- good re- reputation. And so having that um, good reputation and relationships go hand in hand. So um, your wealth is going to be connected to your um, your network. Ooh. And so how many, not just how many people you know, but it's about the value people that you know that can connect you with what you need in your next level to get to your next level it's about who you know not yo, what you know yo and i noticed that in life too man with all these careers and jobs that i had in the past i had no experience whatsoever yeah, exactly and some of them yeah you know and and they hired me because mm-hmm. of just the person that i knew and yo, i was connected to exactly and that's insane how the world works man yeah um uh, my next question is man how important is having a partner a partner like someone that's good for you you uh, know because there's there's, okay. a, there's a difference i want to know you know i want to make it spicy you know what yeah, i mean you're talking about your personal life yeah, right? yeah like okay, personal okay. and yeah. you know because kind of personal it, it can affect you yeah i really yeah. feel like if you get with the wrong partner yeah. i feel like that will really affect your mindset and the way that you do business and, yeah. and relationships and yeah how like what's your opinion on that so i gotta say especially for the young people you got to be careful on your partners for real. And you cannot. This is my um, rule for my life. I don't mix business and personal um, relationship together too much. You know, when I say that, there's boundaries to it. So, number one, pick your people that you want in your life, um, especially um letting them know and in on your business stuff. You can date whoever you want to, but if you start talking to your person about your business and they really ain't supporting you, they don't believe in you, they're not pushing you, it's going to hurt you and your business, your baby. So you got to see your business as a baby yeah. and protect that. So I've learned that. So be careful with the relationship and the people that you're trying to connect with. That's crazy, man. Man, shout out. Man. <laughs> I learned that the hard way, so now I can tell you for free. Hey. You, you know, it's crazy, man. You're 27, man, mm-hmm. with all this knowledge, man. And, you know, I'm 27 too, bro. When's your birthday? When's, when's, September 24th. September 20th. What's yep. your sign, brother? Libra. You're a Libra. That's why we get along, man. I'm a Gemini, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I get along with Libras, man. Uh, Man, fuck the Virgos, man. I was <laughs> I'm just playing, man. I'm just playing with y'all, man. Nah, man. So how do you like Orlando so far? How was your experience so far? I love Orlando. Shout out to Orlando. It's hot. And I got this 100 degree shirt on looking crazy. Nah, man. Fresh. That was me last night, bro. Not the turtleneck, though. Yeah, the, yeah. You must be sweating, bro. <laughs> I'm a sweater, bro. Yeah. Now, so what's your plans after this, man? What are you going to do? Get back on the plane. You going back on the plane, bro? I wanted to do some content. Um, I may see some. Really yeah, quick. bro. You going to event? So I was going to see if you were free. Yeah, but damn, bro. Know, right? <laughs> yeah, so I may just get back on the plane. If not, I, when I'm visiting a city or anywhere, I always try to create content. Really. Yeah, bro, yeah. for sure, man. Next time you're in town, for sure, just let me know. Yeah, we might have you back on the freaking show. Who knows, yeah, man? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love to bring people back on the show. Um, I'll show you the area. Downtown yeah. Orlando is beautiful, man. Okay. okay. Um, Islands of Adventure. You know, you can check out okay. everywhere, man. Take this, me, take man, me around, yeah. man, for real, because yeah. Orlando is starting to grow. Exactly. A lot of people are moving down to Florida yep. uh, from New York and That's all these good. other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, my last question to you is: Out of all the states, mm-hmm. which one is your favorite? In the U.S. Um, In the U.S., oh, my goodness, state. Let me see. I really, 
Oh my goodness. I hate to narrow it down because I have a list, right? But I yeah, would yeah. say California is number one. Um, New York is number two. Um, Why? Why New York? Just the dream. Really. Always the dream of what it would be and what you heard on TV and the buildings. I love architects. So every time I go somewhere, I'm taking pictures of the building. Yeah. So, um, um, yeah. So those two. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I've actually <laughs> never been to the city, man. Right. Which one? No, New York? Yeah. Like New York. I've never been to New York City, I've never man. been to the city, but I've been to White Plains somewhere. Okay. So yeah, but I got to go back to the city, New York, New York. Okay. Yeah, man. I've, I've traveled mostly like outside of like the US because my dad, my dad was like an okay. engineer from the region cruise line. Okay. Yeah. So That's I was able to, up. yeah. So I've been cruising and yeah. shit like that. My dad's <laughs> actually from Norway. Okay. So like I've been to Norway multiple times. Yeah. I've, you know, done some little trips to like yep. Denmark yep. and like. Okay. Cold. Yeah. 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 It's yep. super cold. Yep. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> different cold. Different culture, different lifestyle. Like, yep. so when I hear that people never been outside the yep. States. Even just outside, just just your regular state, mm-hmm. where you personal, live. yeah, where you yep. live is like, man. There's so much to see, so yep. much to learn, so many different cultures, food, yep. and it blows my mind, man. That's crazy. And it's unfortunate, like I was saying, people, some people would never get the chance to experience that. They'll never know about it, you know. So yeah, that's wild. Man. You but, have any pets? No, no pets. Okay. No pets. But you know what? I've been begging and I always wanted a dog, my own dog. Yeah. But now, growing up, I had pets, rabbits, and all that, but I want a small dog and I can't get it because I'm where I'm going to put it. And my mama said no. <laughs> Bro, I mean, there, it's a pain in the butt. I got a little yeah. Frenchie. His okay. name's Remy. Yeah. And he's in the room right now chilling. Yeah. But, like, and he gets along with the, with the other dog. Yeah. And, they're not vicious, man. They oh, yeah. they just bark, bro. Exactly. They just bark, bro. <laughs> but I always wanted one to like a, your own friend in a way. It's yeah. your best friend, man. Yeah. For real. Like they're they're there for you. They yeah. know when you're like you're down and out. You're yeah. like, man, and they just feel it, man. Exactly. The energy. Yeah. yeah. And That's they ain't gonna talk behind your back because you know it. Yeah. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> yep. Now out of all the artists, uh uh-huh. Well, what type of genre do you listen to, actually? Everything, really. I'm mixed, so I love trap music. Okay, <laughs> man. That's the old. But I love my gospel, and I love my r and I love um, some country. I love jazz. So yeah. I went to a jazz restaurant. I love it's peaceful. Um, I love everything, so, yeah. Okay. No tattoos? I got one right here. It's a heart. Or not online. Lips. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Lips. Red nice. lips. Yep. Nice, man. And... Do you like the mountains? What do you like? Do you yeah. like the beach? What, what do you prefer? The beach, probably. Um, yeah, I don't do. I haven't done the mountains yet. Um, I hear people talking about it. It looks risky, you know. Um, but I love the beach. The beach is where it's <laughs> at, man. We're 15 minutes from the beach, guys. If okay, you guys don't know. Um, it's beautiful. That's the yeah. reason why I'm out here. So I'm not. I'm in Central Florida, but yeah. you know, I'm kind of a little bit towards the coast. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean? Because yeah. like I can't. You know, I love my people and shit. Yeah. But like sometimes you need to clear your mind and go out to the beach oh, yeah. and just hang out. It's and so peaceful. It's you know meditation. You know, the older that you get, you start to realize how important it is keeping the right people around you yeah. and also meditating and keeping that mindset in the morning. Yeah. You know, I didn't start realizing that. Like I did time share for a little bit, man. Mm-hmm. But the people that worked there with me had a different mindset. Yeah. And it changes you. Yeah. And it really does. You have no choice. If you're yeah. around certain people, you will become that, that person. Right, right. Yep. If you if you were three losers, you're gonna yep. be the fourth. <laughs> it's, it's but just, if you know what I'm saying? So yeah. like um me personally, I feel like that's the mindset you need to have when yeah. you're in real estate, when you're in business. Yeah. Uh what's your opinion on that? Yeah, I agree. Um, um I absolutely agree with you, man. Word. That you gotta be self rounded like not self-rounded but i don't know the words um but focus i'm gonna say it like that just keep it simple focus you gotta stay focused on what you're doing where you're going and don't let other people or other things other success other failures um distract you okay well guys we're running out of time uh shit man Yo, I'm happy that you came through, man. Yo, shout out to you, bro. Dr. Airbnb. Thank you again. Um, I mean, shit, I'm pressing the wrong button. Hold on. (laughs) Applause, man. (laughs) Yo, man. He flew in here and he about to fly out, bro. Come on, man. Like, that's respect, bro. You go. Not for me, bro. Real talk, man. Like, that's crazy, (laughs) man. Like, shout out to you, bro. For real, for real. And also, guys, please, please, please grab this guy's book, man. This guy, if you want knowledge, This is where you're going to have it, man. Like, you can't just sit here and wake up and be like, man, I know it all. Bro, you got to learn. 
Right. If you're not waking up and learning something, yeah. then what are you doing with your life? Exactly. Bro, I'm I'm putting his book in the description. I'm putting his link in the description. Appreciate Please it. give him a follow. Follow on Instagram, man. And help help a brother out, man. Shout out to you, brother, man. Thank you for coming here. My pleasure. Any last words you want to say to, to the Dope Top fam? All right, Dope Top fam, I want to say get ready because John here, your host, he's about to take over. So if you're not, like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you share this content because he's doing great things. But I do want to leave you with this. Just start. Get over the fear of whatever fear you are facing. You're going to have to get in the ring of that fear and face it. But I dare you to start. Your time is running out. And that's not a negative thing. No, nah, that's that's some real that's it. real. Yeah, you gotta look at it different. Nah, nah. Don't look at it as death. Don't look at it as but your time can really run out and you can miss your opportunity. Don't keep saying I'm gonna wait till the new year. I'm not hyping you for that. I'm telling you right now, just just start. Bro, well hunted. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, bro. Well hunted, bro. Yeah. Real, so man. many people live their life stuck and never started. So you that's the number one thing I've learned is that you're going to, the worst feeling is regret and you never want that. So just start it and just do it fearful, afraid. Damn, bro. Yo, man, that is some real shit. Guys, yo, check out this episode. We about to drop this shit pretty yes, soon. Sir. Yo, thank you guys. Love you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Take care. God bless.